Now in this lecture, I'll discuss with you how to find the solution of one dimensional heat flow with initial and boundary condition and the boundary condition given to us is when the end of the bar is kept at temperature zero. So end, when end are kept at temperature zero and there is a, some initial temperature which is fx, what will be the solution? So as I have discussed in my previous lecture that after finding the solution of uh, uh, heat equation with the help of variable separable we can come across three answers but out of three, these three the most suitable answer of the given initial and boundary condition comes out to be even even if we apply the first condition these first two condition in answer number one and two we find out the trivial solution so they will not give us the solution and we are looking for the non-trivial solution this can only be given by the third answer so let's start with the how to find the solution taking the general solution as a cos px plus b sin px e to the power minus p square c square t so the first condition i am going to plug in this is a general one so let's see that using using the first condition what is the first condition here when u is 0 and t is t we got a 0 answer so let's plug in this value in the equation and when i put x is equals to 0 i get a times cos 0 is 1 and here b times sin 0 is 0 and uh, t is remain as t so we are going to write down p square t square c square t equals to this is given to us 0 now here I am getting that a times e to the power minus p square c square t equals to 0 now we have to find out the solution this can be 0 because if this is 0 our whole answer comes out to be 0 and we are looking for the non-zero answer non-trivial so the only one case answer I will get that this constant is equals to 0 when I put this constant, I got a one value, the value is A and A comes out to be 0. Then this solution which was a general one, it reduces to, so the solution 2 reduces to uxt is equals to, because now A comes out to be 0, I have only P times sin px e to the power minus p square c square t and i'll call it the solution number three because what we would do while finding the solutions of initial and boundary value problems we start with the general one plug in the conditions one by one and keep on finding the constants and updating our answer so this was my first general solution and then after using the first boundary condition i come up with the that coefficient of cos px is 0 and this equation will reduces to the solution is reduces to this is my the updated answer this is the updated answer that a comes out to be 0 and I got that b sin px e to the power minus b square c square t now let's use the second condition the second con boundary condition is when x value is l and t is equals to t the temperature is 0 now as uh, we are going to use it in the latest solution so here if i put x is equals to l and d is equals to t right hand side b is a constant x is equals to l e to the power minus p square c square t and this come is given to us as a zero so from here we have to see that this is the one quantity this is the second quantity and this is the third term b can't be 0 because if i entertain b equals to 0 uh, my whole answer will vanish so and this can cannot be 0 this cannot also be 0 so only sine function might be 0 for that so from here we get sine is 0 when uh, this angle pl is equals to multiple of pi so we got pl comes out to be n pi from here we get one more information which was unknown in the solution p value so p value comes out to be n pi by l so this is also one of the important result we have gotten when we are keeping the boundaries condition at zero and here n can have a 
values 1, 2, 3 and so on up to infinity. Now we, our solution number 3 is, uh, it can be updated. Let us rewrite, I got the value of P, so let us plug in the value of P. Now, third reduces to, this reduces to U x t, this is small x, is equals to, uh, I got B, this is sine of n pi x l because p value comes out to be n pi and here we are having e to the power c square p square so p comes out to be n pi so n square pi square l square times t because it is p square and uh, now here n value is equals to 1 2 3 what we observe that in this case we are not having one value of u we are having infinite value of e because for n1 i get one constant for n2 i get another constant for n3 i get another constant so uh, we can write down b equals to independent symbol so it is bn so i got infinite answer means i can write down i have an infinite answer un which is equals to bn sine of n pi x by l e to the power minus c square n square pi square l square t so the we know that for the linear equation if we have an infinite answers the general answer is the sum of superimposition of all these solutions so the general solution is nothing but the sum of all such answers so here n varies from 1 to infinity and we get a bn sine of n pi x by l e to the power minus c square n square pi square l square t. Now we have a, a one condition yet to be applied that is the initial condition. This initial condition is when at any position x when time is 0 fx is equals to 0. So this is my um, fourth stage of answer the the I, I, or i can say this is my equation number four and now our last uh, unknown is left to calculate and that is this bn because we want to find out this bn which is not known so we have one equation left condition left i would say that is the third one and the third condition given to us is that when time is 0 and x is x it is equals to fx so let us plug in this in the previous equation that when x is x and time is 0 right hand side bn x is x so it is n pi x by l and t is 0 so when you put t is 0 e to the power 0 is 1 so here I get 1 so n is equals to 1 to infinity and this is given to us is fx because in this question my motive is to uh, tell you the method to find out the solution of initial and boundary value problem so we come up with this expression and this is a very familiar series it is called a sine series because when you have a sine function summation 1 to infinity equals to function it is a half range this is a half range sine series and uh, we know how to find the constant of half range sine series where pn can be calculated so we need uh, that what is a length and we have taken the bar length as a l so here pn value is 2 upon length 0 to length and we pick the function over here and integrate with this sine function n pi x by sine n pi x by l tx and this becomes a bn value so with the help of this Fourier series if the function is provided in the question you plug in the function over here and integrate to get the bn value so in this way we we can get the solution and the solution is if you see the final answer here because the solution of the wave equation with the initial condition and boundary conditions kept at zero this comes out to be bn sin n pi x by l e to the power minus n square pi square c square t upon l square where bn is equals to 2 by l 0 to l fx sin n pi x by l and uh, this way we can calculate the